One by one, property owners met with Georgetown City and County officials and the DOT Wednesday to pick up claim forms and gather information. Many property owners near the spot where a sinkhole swallowed part of a building last week say their floors are sloping and walls cracking. The owner of an animal hospital less than a block from the sinkhole hasn't found any damage yet, but he met with officials just in case. Basically to try to be preemptive and gather as much information as possible. The DOT pumped water out from under city streets for several weeks as part of a $14 million drainage project for the city. DOT engineers aren't ready to say that this work is what caused the sinkhole. We've got a team assembled just trying to do everything they can to try to, to, to perform tests and do research to try to determine the cause. Property owners who have found cracks and other damage to their buildings say they have been told to hire engineers to help assess the damage. But that costs a lot of money and they don't believe they should have to pay the bill. The city should be hiring an engineer, DOT should be hiring an engineer. That's money coming out of our pockets. We didn't cause this damage. Somebody did. Matthew says the cracks have gotten worse in the two days since we first visited their building. She says employees are shredding old papers, backing up computer files, and getting ready to move if need be. In Georgetown, Joel Allen, News Channel 15.